Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Newlywed Trucker Homestead, the NTH. Hope everyone is having a good morning. Everything is nice and cool right now. Look at that. So that temperature is usually higher in here than outside. So you know it's kind of cool outside. So right now, I want to go ahead and do this while it's cool. Because in here feels like an oven, y'all. Ooh, trying to avoid that. This is my studio. I like it in here. It's so peaceful. Uh, even with the cars and everything going around me, I still feel like I'm in peace in here. I guess because of the plants. The plants give me some type of, I guess, some kind of chemical release that just makes me feel like I'm at in another world, you know, from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. And um, I came on for a little while to show you a recipe that I've discovered. Um, this is an organic recipe. It helps with controlling the pests in your greens, like your collard greens, cabbages, mustards, and other types of vegetables if you want to use it on them, vegetables and fruits. And it, I think it lasts for a while, but you know, go and check, you know, during waterings, it probably rinses off. But check, you know, every day or every other day and make sure that you don't have any more of your cabbage worms or any type of pest still chewing and munching and munching and chewing. No, they love to eat after you do all the work. Okay, and this ingredient consists of, not sure if you can see it in there, but there's red peppers, onions right here, and garlics. It has half and half. So, okay, you have a half of water and a half of apple cider vinegar and peroxide. So, we're going to blend this all together. I have to use this cloth. Let me put this down so you can see. I have to use a cloth, like a pot holder over this because I lost the top parts to it to keep all the liquids from spewing out. Um, I've had this for years. I don't throw anything away, y'all. I really don't. Unless I really have to. But, um, because you never know. You know, you know how we women are. You never know. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to put it on the puree cycle. Demonstration purposes that should be sufficient, okay? All right, then we're going to pour it back in here, and you can use a strainer. Hold on for a second. You can use a strainer if you don't want to pour it back in with all this uh, residue in it. Because I actually use a strainer uh, whenever I pour it into my bottles, so we're just going to pour it back in here. leftovers but it's okay and you just store it you know you can store it in the refrigerator or on the shelf and it would you know it would hold for I couldn't even tell you right now because it would probably hold for a long time because of the vinegar that's in it vinegar is also a preservative so things last pretty long in vinegar you can it can go years sometimes and this is what I do. I use it, I pour it in through a strainer in a cup and it goes in here. But I still have some little particles to get in. So sometimes it's just, it clogs up, see? See how it's clogging? So what I have to do is take that off, take that off and rinse it out. Take the nozzle and the arm um, line and run some water through it to get those particles out. But it works. I, we're going to go outside and see exactly how it works. Let me take this off and we're going to go outside and see how everything's doing. Mama bird's in her nest. She knows me. She doesn't even um, move when I come in. But when my husband comes in or anybody else comes in, she takes off. 
It's a warm, it's a warming thing, y'all. Hey, mama. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go around here. Check out these bugs. See what's going on. Okay. Let's look at these. See? I look on the back of my collars and my cabbages. I have no bugs, y'all. I have no worms. Usually every morning I come in, there are worms. But look, no worms. No worms. No worms, yeah. And also, guys, um, I don't know if you noticed that, I took all of my collars that I could get up on the line. I took all of my collars and my cabbages and I placed them up on the wall off the ground. So hopefully that would help some. And look like it's done a pretty good job so far. You know, we're going all the way down here. It's, I've never seen it on walls, but I'm like, hmm, I was going to try it. Just try it out. I have my collars down here. They're doing great. No worms, y'all. None. No worms. And I also placed in there those um, marigolds. They're, you know, repellents. They help out a lot along with the um, spray. Because, you know, we really don't want to ingest all those chemicals because you know it's beneficial to taking care of the problem of getting rid of the pest but it doesn't it's not a benefit to us it's more of a doctor bill later on and we're wondering well, how do we come up with that how do we end up with certain ailments that's why it's good to grow your own foods because when you grow your own foods you're able to know exactly what they're grown in what was put on them and how they were uh, harvested. So that'll be it for now, guys. You take care. Have a good day.